back to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel. My name is Matthew. I hope this video finds you well with the memory of Newcastle's dismal performance against Southampton two weeks ago, very much extinguished from your brains. And I am here once again to try and predict Steve Bruce's starting 11 for this weekend's fixture. Newcastle with the easy task of just Chelsea at home. Uh, Honourable mention to my last prediction. It's the first time I've ever got 100%. Um, I'm hoping to do it again. Probably won't, but let's see if I can. Starting off in goal, it's always an easy one. Carl Dallow will remain in the absence of Martin Dubravka. He had a so-so game against Southampton, made some decent saves. I don't think he was a fault, really, for the two goals he conceded. That was more on the individual errors of Sean Longstaff and Miguel Almiron. So no reason why Carl Dallow won't be starting this one. Moving into defence, I think Steve Bruce will run with his three at the back formation again. It's obvious that it has its massive limitations in terms of attacking threat. But with us playing a team like Chelsea, who are going to have so much more of the ball, which is pretty much what all teams do against Newcastle. But with their quality, you know Steve Bruce is going to try and be a solid defensive unit. And he seems to think that that back three formation helps that. So Jamal Lascelles at the heart of defence again as captain, flanked by Federico Fernandez and Fabian Scher for the centre-halves. At left-back, Jamal Lewis coming off international duty with Northern Ireland. He's our only left-back, so of course he's going to start. At right-back, I'm not so sure. Jacob Murphy didn't have the greatest game against Southampton, but he didn't do too much wrong either. So maybe he'll remain there in that wing-back role. I'm not too sure where Mankeo is, and Kraft is obviously coming back from international duty with Sweden. So I'm thinking Jacob Murphy will remain at right wing back. Now the midfield is of course an area that contains the first name on the team sheet every week and that is Mr Jeff Hendrick. Of course he's going to play, why I don't know but he is Steve Bruce's special little boy and he will play every game until my dying day it would seem. But who's going to join him? I'm not too sure. I think Isaac Hayden will come into the team but whether Miguel Almiron remains or Sean Longstaff remains I'm not too sure, but I'm going to go with Sean Longstaff, purely because Miguel Almiron came back from international duty at 11pm on Thursday night, so he might be a bit jaded. Uh, he's had to be tested for coronavirus, thankfully it's negative. But also there are these rumours circulating from his two-bit amateurish agent, if you listen to Steve Bruce, um, Daniel Campos saying that Almiron would have left by now if it wasn't for coronavirus and could leave or will probably leave in June of next year. I'm not too sure what to believe. He does sound like he's just trying to formulate a move for Almiron. But if you want to hear more about this, please watch Chris's video from yesterday or the day before with our good friend uh, Roberto. Link in the description below. It's a really good video and Roberto, of course, has uh, good knowledge on Miggy. Uh, so please give that a watch. Um, so I think the midfield's going to be Isaac Hayden, Jeff Hendrick, Sean Longstaff. I appreciate that's a very negative midfield, but I just feel like we're going to set up super defensively against Chelsea. And finally, up front, Alan St. Maximin will start this one in his new sort of central role in the new three at the back formation. It's a role that I really don't like Alan St. Maximin in. He seems to go looking for the ball a lot more with his back to goal rather than the ball being played in front of him or in breaking forward in wide areas and cutting in like he did against Burnley. It just seems to hinder him as an attacking force and we just can't afford that from pretty much our best player, the guy who can win us games on his own. Uh, and I think he'll be joined by Callum Wilson. Of course, he's had his injury troubles being substituted against Southampton, but Steve Bruce has been quoted as saying he's trained this week. He's looked okay. He's looked very comfortable. If there is any risk whatsoever, he won't start but hopefully he does start because he is so important with his goals to this team Chelsea themselves have their own injury problems Ben Chilwell will be out Kai Havertz is a doubt Thiago Silva is a doubt but I don't know if that affects your sort of hopes for this game at all it certainly doesn't affect mine because personally I think we're going to go down and go down comfortably I'm going for a Chelsea win 3-1 to them. I want to be optimistic and say we'll get a point. Chelsea, of course, don't like coming to St. James's Park, but it's an empty St. James's Park against the Newcastle who are coming off the back of a very bad performance against Southampton. I think we might get a goal. Maybe that's me being a bit too optimistic, but I think Chelsea will win 3-1. Fingers crossed I am wrong, but please let me know what you guys think is going to happen this Saturday in the comments below. Please let me know what you think the starting 11 is going to be in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please like the video, please share the video, and of course, subscribe to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel.